Okay guys, it is Monday morning and we are over here at the pole barn fix job, stripping the forms. This is what the wall looks like. And uh, we are going to be putting some foam around this thing for frost protection. But I wanted to show you what it looks like after the pour when we just stripped it. Come out pretty good. We're gonna bring this up in lifts on the inside. We got the big tamper. And, uh, we're just gonna fill it in maybe eight inches at a time and tamp it so we got to get that big tamper down in there there's a lot of water around this thing so i'm going to talk to the homeowner but i think we got to put four foot of foam out perimeter foam i think we should come down the height of the wall and we ought to go out four feet and i'll show you over here they had put foam so this whole project is not below the frost line unfortunately so they did try to rectify it a little bit here they did put foam insulation around this part and this part is built different i'll try to include a couple of pictures But this, this part here is built different than this garage here. The garage was a complete um, fail. So I showed you how we fixed that in the first video. But this is built a little different. They took a little more time with it and did a nicer job. But they're sitting on these little block things that they poured. But they're not below frost. And uh, I could show you that. Yeah, but this foam insulation that they put in, they went 16 inches down and 16 inches out. Um, in this area, it calls for 48 inches combined. So they should have been out farther with their wing foam here. If they went down 16, they should have been out 32 inches to get their four feet. So this piece should be 32 inches. So um, what I think we ought to do is dig all that up and put a 48 inch piece in there because first of all, it's pitching the wrong way. Um, that foam ought to have a pitch going away like this. So any water gets on top of it, it'll run out, but it does not have that. So that's a serious issue too. But I can show you, if I dig that out, you can just see the corner of this block here. I'll try to show you the picture, but. That's the block right there that the six by six sits on. So, I mean, it's only in the ground, maybe 16 inches tops. And that's the concrete block. And like I said, I'll show you that picture of this corner of the back corner here on the river. So not sure if they did it because of the water table or what, but um, these poles being in the ground four feet is actual also for strength when you build a pole barn they're supposed to be down in the ground which gives you uh lateral strength wind resistance so that being said we gotta do some more fixing over here i'll try to show you uh how we take care of this problem and get this project back on track for the homeowner stay tuned wanted to include one thing here guys when we first started pouring this um i think the conveyor was set up a little aggressive they can adjust how much um, concrete comes out of that thing. And we got a bow right here. And uh, then we went ahead and backfilled to uh, kind of hold everything. We threw some dirt against it and put a couple props. But there is a little bow here. But it doesn't come up here above ground. It's below grade. But I think uh, if you're going to do this, I would put some wall ties through the 2x10s or some all thread with a couple of um, nuts and washers on drill right through your form board so either use uh, wall ties for poured walls or use uh like i said use some all thread especially if you're going to go up higher i mean we were sh this wall is short for us so the higher you go the more pressure is going to be on the bottom but once he adjusted his conveyor down so it wasn't um dumping in so fast because that's right where we started so once um, he, he did that, we didn't have any issues. There's nothing bowing at all, except for that one spot. I just wanted to mention that. Let's 
see she's pretty straight down through there. Biscuit's trying to get, so we're gonna put our foam board down here now. So he's digging that out, getting that cleaned out. But you can kind of see a little bit of a bow down here, right there, that right one board. Actually two boards. But she's straight up here. She's pretty straight. So just wanted to show you that. So we got our foam going down 30 inches. Biscuit's putting some uh, plates on there just to hold it in place. And then we're gonna backfill it. We don't want to backfill, um, we don't want to tamp until we get both sides backfilled. We got our big tamper, we don't want to push the wall either way. So we got to get our foam in there, then we got to get our uh, some of this gravel here and fill it in and then tamp it. And then we can tamp the inside and the outside without anything moving. So that's our front, that's part of our frost protection foam there. That's gonna, we're gonna go out from there too, 48 inches. So that's how we're handling it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay guys, here's where we're at. We started backfilling and tamping. We got a lift in here all packed down good. We worked on the outside too. It started to rain, but we filled in the outside and tamped it all. Same thing down through here. It's all backfilled and tamped. So we got more material here. I'm gonna do another lift, but we gotta put this foam in over here. That We had to cut that foam out right there when we did our, uh, our wall in here. We had to cut that back, so we're gonna put that back in. We save those two pieces, and this one and that one, we can slap back in there, and, or just cut some new stuff if that don't fit. And that's what we're gonna do now. And then put another lift of dirt with the excavator and tamp it back down. We got this big tamper. <clears throat> I bought this last year. It's Whacker. She's a beast. 3750. BFU 3750, it's a monster. You get it, it gets packed in there deep. You can hardly get it out. It's a monster. But that's what we're up to. Just wanted to show you the progress. We're going to keep moving along here. It's coming out pretty good, though. So we are digging up their frost protection foam that they put here. And uh, she's a little bit cattywampus. She leans a little bit like this, which is totally backwards of what you want. You got a nice high-quality gap right there. Yep, big old right gap there. So this foam should have been 32 inches out minimum because they went 16 down. We required for 48, so it should have come out 32. And they got, looks to be like a 24 inch piece here maybe. And then they went 16 on the rest and everything's pitching back, which is gonna make the water run back and get underneath your foundation and wet dirt freezes in my world. They taped the seams though. But they taped the seams. The Tyvek tape, which I don't understand. Save the world with Tyvek tape. Yeah, they got the Tyvek tape in there. You can't but... do it right. Duct tape, zip ties, <laughs> cough. Yeah, maybe they zip tied it in there. <laughs> but we're going to rip all this foam out, guys, and we're going to put a four-foot piece of foam in here, and we're going to pitch it this way. All the dirt settled. So you, when you do this, you want to make sure the dirt's all packed in there good. You can see that whole thing, biscuits pulling out of there, is all tipping big time this way. Big time. So that is going to be a mess. We'll get this all out of there and we'll get it nicely created the way we want it. And then we'll put new foam in there. I'm gonna tamp it. It. And we're going to tamp it, yeah. Because what happened, I think they put the foam in there and they didn't have any dirt packed and it just settled on them. Because that was all over dig before, so they didn't get it right. So that's not going to work. Real man of genius. <laughs> all right. We'll be back. There's that's sheet. where it started. Yeah, there's sheet number two. You can see the come-alongs about level. This gets holding it about level. 
So you can see how bad she's yeah, tipping. Point underneath it. But the, they got her taped though. And yeah, there's a huge, huge void of dirt. Co totally pitching the wrong way. Totally not big enough. We'll fix it. That's what we do. Sadly, <laughs> we fix things. Damn good at it too. We're gonna put some material in there. Hey, they got two pieces here. They do? Oh, yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, no, it's three. Ain't it? Oh, three little scraps. Three scrap pieces. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Don't make this stuff up, guys. I'll oh, think it up. We're gonna level it out. We'll get it pitching away, actually. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like here in a few minutes. Mm. Okay, guys, here's where we're at. This is our new frost protected foam detail. Um, we went four feet out with it. We got our foam here, too, going uh, 32 inches. Coming out this way with four feet. Everything's pitched away from the building so the water will run away and it pitches down here and the water's gonna run out of there. We tamped underneath it. That's what she's gonna look like. So everything's gonna be very well protected from frost. Now we got the inside of here all filled in for the most part to a rough grade. We do have to fine tune it. We're, I think we're gonna put a drain in there, a trench drain in his garage we decided so. I just wanted to show you that foam detail before we bury it. I got the excavator running just about to cover it up with all this gravel that we dug out using the ditch and bucket. Works really good. Again, there it is. All right, so we got all our foam all the way across the back. Now we're going around the side here. We got it all dug out. We hit an old septic tank in there. But we are getting our side foam in, and I'm just about to bury that, so. And that'll all be in. Once we get this side done, then we still gotta go around the front. Just finishing up our front here, guys. That's our frost protection foam on the front of the building. Dug it all out. Biscuit's just finishing up a little bit there. And we're gonna lay a piece across here and fill in that little bit. And then we can bury it. And we got our foam all the way around it. So that's what we're up to. It's almost beer 30 for us guys. It's about five o'clock. Biscuit's tired. He's been digging all day. Mm -hmm. show you what we're up to today back over here at the pole barn that we fixed here you can see our wall that we poured and everything we are doing some more work over here and uh, we're gonna put a retaining wall up and pour a concrete patio back here so that's what we're doing biscuit's got the little uh bob kitten dumping some limestone down in here for our footer. We dug the footer with the mini excavator, which was kind of a pain. We had to, we had to scoop uh, all that topsoil and stuff into the wheelbarrow. The big dual wheelbarrow is over here. Our Brentwood wheelbarrow, and we had to dump it around the corner here. This is right there. All that material came out of here. I'm gonna have to dig this pretty much by hand because we got our foam detail underneath there. But that's what we're up to. We'll keep um, keep posting as we go here, show you how we're doing it. We're gonna put this limestone in and tamp it. Then we're gonna put a base course of these uh, chimney blocks over here. They're big chimney blocks right there. If you ever see my videos before, we've done we've done walls out of these before, so. Stay tuned, that's what we're up to today.
in this truck. There he goes. Tamping up her limestone for her footer, guys. We got about uh, I'm about eight, eight to ten inches thick here of limestone. Smash her down good. And there's gonna be a step up here because the elevation changes and then it's gonna come around the corner here. And we're also gonna step up one more time here. We're gonna have another step going up because we got our foam in there, so we got foam board in there. That's how we're doing her. Alright guys, here we are on our wall it's got his little step in it this is where we stepped up with one course to come up because we had our foam in there we're making the pad a little bit bigger than the house so we can miss this sonal tube right here and that's how it's going there we're gonna have a, another step down over there we're filling everything with this limestone and we take a two by four and we pack it down in there and we're gonna run these blocks straight up and down. We're gonna glue them as well. We got some landscape, uh, PL Premium landscaping glue. So once we pack all these with stone, we'll run glue. We'll stick them into the glue and then we'll fill the cell again. To be clear, we didn't put in these sound tubes. No, we did not put these sound tubes in. Ever so ugly. We are gonna try to hide them somehow, but we're doing our work, so getting this wall up here and this is all going to be concrete so we need a wall here because there's the rivers right here so it drops right off here so we need to have this wall come up it would been nice if this uh roof system wasn't built we could have just did our work and they could have landed these posts right on our wall we would have moved our wall back there but that's all right we'll get it we're working around is a little harder to work in here but then we get over here, we're gonna come out, we're gonna turn, we're gonna go that way and back. Cause there's a door here, a sliding door here. It's a man door coming out of the back of the garage and then we're gonna build some steps down into the boathouse here. Um, that's where our retaining wall or our curb was on the, if you watch the other video, that's where our curb was in, on the back of the garage. So this is what it's looking like. Stay tuned. More to come. All right, guys, we got to step down here. So basically we have to bring this block seven and five eighths down from that block. So we dig out this spot and this material is in higher. We take our, the, our laser and we level this straight up. So it's perfectly seven and five eighths below that block. And then we're going to fill this in right here with limestone. So it's level and we'll bring the limestone back to about here. We'll tamp all that in. And we'll set our next block right on and that creates our step which is gonna our change in elevation that we got so that'll be our last step here so this is all gonna run true and there'll be three courses down here two courses here and only one, one course, course there. there that's how we do it here's our uh after we filled it in guys I'm just gonna set this block in everything's bedded right up I just packed it in with a hand hamper. So now I'll set this block on and create our step. Just like our step over there. All right, once we get to this height, we're gonna start gluing. So we're gonna build this row up to that level. So we put some of this uh, Loctite Peel 500 landscaping construction adhesive. And we put a bunch of uh, beads on there and we're gonna glue these bad boys right to it. We got our blocks in here. Once you get the first course in, it goes pretty good, guys. We just keep the stone a little low in there so you're not fighting it. Instead of trying to fill it right to the top and then you're gonna get little pieces falling in and stuff. We get it right to there and uh, we'll glue it up and then we can put more stone in, which is gonna lock everything together. Once that stone locks in there, between rows, it's like solid concrete just about. That's what we're doing, guys. 
We are filling in the porch that we're building. Biscuit's got the bob kitten. Uh, the pile of material is way out front because there's nowhere to put it behind that plywood right there. So he's got to basically drive all the way around the house. And that's a walk behind unit. So this is where we're at. We got this end pretty much all filled in fine-tuned for the most part this is what things are looking like still haven't decided what we're gonna do with these sauna tubes because that's the height of our wall so I think there was some miscommunication on uh, the height of this thing maybe or something something went wrong but we're not uh, we're not really liking these things because that pads going right down here on top of that that's the height of everything so we're gonna decide what to do on that um, with the homeowner. But this is how our wall is coming out. It's looking really good. We still got some work to do over here to come around and finish it up. But we figured we might as well fill this before we um, take, this has got to take a dive in. So it'd be harder to get in here. So that's what we're doing. Stay tuned. Date. Just getting our footer in for this piece that goes choom, choom. It's gonna turn back there. We're gonna have a couple steps going down into this boathouse here in this door. Right by Dustin. <laughs> Big biscuit. That's what we're doing guys, filling in the wall. This is day two on this uh, project here, this wall project. So we're doing pretty good. Um, that's digging everything out, putting all these blocks in. We've put 90 blocks in so far, and we gotta put some more in tomorrow, but we did 60 today. That's a lot of blocks. 60 of these things, and they are heavy. That's what she's looking like. and filling them in with this limestone. We take a four by four and we just tamp them. Tamp it down with a four by four, smash it down in there. And we're gluing the bottom and the ends of the blocks too with that uh, PL Premium that, or that Loctite landscape glue. That's where we're at. Hey guys, this is the end of day two on the wall. We're just heading out of here. It's beer 30. We ran out of blocks again. We need about probably almost 30 more, but that's what she looks like. Nice view here. That's what she looks like, guys. Head around. And this wall is going to come up all the way up and turn the corner there. And there's going to be some steps coming down to this uh, boathouse because there's a door here and there's a door here there's actually another door there so everything's going to walk out onto this concrete patio well, we're building our end step now guys we're just putting in the footer for that putting the limestone in the boys are going to tamp it out we're going to build a little step here coming off the end we got some stairs over there by the boathouse I'll show you them in a little bit. The little tamper's a little easier to handle down in the ditch like that.
need a little bit right where the machine is, I think. No. No, I don't want to do that. Just pull it out of the way. It's a good inch low right where your thing is. Just pull it back. No, 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 no. Pull it backwards towards the boat house. Then I'm going to put this in there. Get that level and check it. That's one way. You doubting me, Big Biscuit? He's doubting me, Dustin. Boy, that looks pretty good right there. Hmm. You ain't tamped it yet, Hoss. Sometimes the boss is right. Hmm. Big Biscuit knows all. Huh? Someday I'll be as smart as my own boy. Someday. Hmm. Stay tuned guys, I'll show you what this looks like when we get the stair built. Okay guys, it's Friday, about beer 30. The boys are loading up the Yanmar and all our tools. I'll show you what we did this week. So last week we poured the wall, you seen on the first video, and we got that all done. So Monday we came in and we stripped the wall, we backfilled everything, Got all the boards off it and all that. And uh, then we started this back project here. I'll show you. Once we got the wall. Oh yeah, and we put the perimeter foam around the entire house, all the way to here. Basically all the way around the whole house, all the way around, all the way up to here, where that wall is. We did uh, four feet of this two inch polystyrene foam really rigid stuff right there that's what we used to close cell phone and then we built just the three of us me big biscuit and dustin built this entire retaining wall and filled it all in that's how she looks we got a little step here in the corner to get up onto it got two steps coming down to his boathouse this is all going to be, not sure if it's going to be stamped concrete or a broom finish, but it's going to go right to the bottom of that 2x6, so his metal siding comes right down to the concrete. There'll be a flashing detail there, and we will have a pitch on this concrete. Um, I guess they're going to build some planter boxes around these sauna tubes because uh, they don't look that good. So... Coming up through, that's what she looks like. And we didn't do those sound tubes, by the way. That was not us. We had to work around this whole timber thing. And it was a pain, but we got it. Everything backfilled. There's footers under all of this. You've probably seen in the video, but that's all limestone footing. Everything's backfilled, ready to rip. So we could pour concrete here. All we got to do is form it up around the outside. So we're out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. I'll get some video footage as we move forward on this project. But we've uh, straightened around a lot of stuff for this guy and his wife in the last week or two, a couple weeks, not even about a week and a half we've been here. We fixed a lot of stuff for him. We're out.